Good evening. Welcome to Wednesday night. Wednesday night is indie night, specifically indie demo night. But today we're playing Duck Detective, the secret salami. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out what that means. Maybe not in the demo. Um, you didn't see this, but I did. When you start up the game, it does tell you that the demo will be about 10 to 15 minutes or so. But anyway, Duck Detective is developed by Happy Broccoli. And they've actually also, uh, I'm going to put up the Steam page so you can check it out yourself. As well as the YouTube link for the soundtrack, which I kind of love. So I can't, I think that's a soprano sax. There's so much overlap between the soprano and the alto. It's hard to tell. But it's after 8 o'clock, so one other thing I wanted to include was the YouTube page for the soundtrack. Because I love it, and I think I'm going to be listening to it on my own time. But let's get into it. And let's see what we can... Let's look at the options first. What do we got? Resolution, windowed, music... Okay. Key rebinding. Open. Okay, so we can rebind all of our keys, which I like. Decline, advance, inspect, player menu, tab left and right. Okay, without further ado, let's dive in. Life wasn't easy. Ooh, voice. I, I kind of like this guy's voice already. I was a freshly divorced duck, not able to pay next month's rent. <laughs> not that I had paid for it this month yet. Okay, so he's behind on his rent. My brain felt foggy, and I was trying to remember. He sounds frustrated. Where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. Oh, this is our first case? Deductions. <laughs> Cute. Deductions are a vital part of detectives of a detective's work. Find clue words by questioning persons and inspecting your surroundings. Okay. So do detective work. Enter clue words into the blank spaces to solve deductions. Hmm. Okay. Seems simple enough. So blank spent his or her last money on blank for blank. What's the difference between the green and the purple bubbles? Oh, I guess that means I don't have any, so I have... But we... We know that's not true. He didn't spend his money on rent because he's a month or two months behind or so. For blank. Okay. Let's do some investigating. So. Okay. So we can move around with WASD and it highlights certain points of interest. That makes it a little bit easy. Almost a little bit too easy. But never mind. Let's start by the desk. What is that? Bread? Why are there. Wait a minute. This fresh smell. Oh, sweet spongy loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. Yo. What? <laughs> this guy really likes his bread. What the hell? Okay. Uh huh. There's like pieces of bread everywhere. Hang on a second. I think I remember hearing that bread is bad for ducks. Give me one second. Um, according to various sources, bread is not a suitable food for ducks. Here are some reasons why. Lack of nutritional value, bread does not provide ducks with the necessary nutrients they need to stay healthy. It is essentially junk food for them. 
which explains why they like it so much. Overpopulation, feeding ducks bread can lead to overpopulation as they become dependent on humans for food and do not forage for natural food resources. What? Okay. Malnutrition, okay, that goes hand in hand with lack of nutritional value. And harm to local water quality. The breads that the bread that ducks do not eat can harm local water quality as it can contribute to pollution and decomposition. So instead, you're supposed to feed them things like dried mealworms, pondweed, seeds, and insects, and worms. Okay, so bread is bad for ducks. That kind of fits. He also seems like a bit of an addict, so if it's junk food... But the way that they're treating it is more like it's a drug. <laughs> Gotta get some vitamin B for bread. What's this? No messages. I guess that's his phone. Uh, what's that? I won't be needing this badge anymore. That's a badge? I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. Hmm. <sighs> Well, oh, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. Hmm. Okay. So even though this kind of has the feel of film noir, it's set in modern times, I guess. I mean, he's got a computer here, he's got a cell phone, he's talking about selling things online. Okay. Well, it's fine. Let's go with it. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Hmm. Okay. This is a twist. Also explains why he might not have any money. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. So he's definitely not paying his rent, so... <sighs> I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now... Now you're just a burnt-out detective, a junkie who needs to get bread in order to... in order to fix. She doesn't even answer my texts. I have everything I need to solve this now. Okay, so... The duck detective spent his last money on... bread for himself, the duck. <laughs> yeah, not my proudest moment. But the toast helps me to forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm? Who's that? Hannah! Oh, Jesus. I'm a different duck now. Why should not even be her? I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. I'll press X to doubt on that one, pal. You have to believe me! <laughs> what are the, okay? What are the symptoms of bread overdosing in this in in this co context? Does it make you like unable to control the volume of your voice? Can you not control your emotions? This guy seems really. Uh, a little over the top. But that may just be the theme of that. That may just be the feel of the characters in the game. We'll see. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it isn't her, is it? Yeah, you're speaking to the duck detective. <laughs> Let's discuss this in person. Now, be there in an hour. I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. And here I was. In front of their bus office. Some sort of rundown call center. Yeah. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. 
Wow, you're that hard up, eh? Hmm. <laughs> kind of getting used to the character designs and the fact that there's very little animation. Just kind of wobbling back and forth. But it works. It's fine. That doesn't bother me. I feel like I'm actually moving pieces on a board. Like a like I'm playing a board game. Uh, here we go. What's this? New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sicia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Yep. Pollution. Nothing here. And uh one poor one poor protester. Out in the rain. I'm staying here until I get my money back. Bear bus? <laughs> More like scam bus. Quality voice work though. Really good voice work. I like it. You uh sound unhappy. <laughs> to the west and arrived here at three in the morning sounds a little bit like amy shawl don't tell me to shut up and they don't even want to give me a refund how much did you pay um two schmark okay so the currency is schmark <laughs> okay. I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me, but I had to make my way into the office. Hmm. Well, yeah, she kind of has that look on her face like she's just done with the day. Doesn't want to deal with any crap. Uh, what's this? It's locked. Of course it is. This office is for employees only. Oh, okay. Is the story the same? It says server room. It's locked. Yep. Hi, lady. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. <laughs> Do you work here? Um, no. Then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from Bearbus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. <laughs> oh, good lord. Listen, buddy, you better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. Yep, that's a fair statement. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. Oh. It's feeling blank because blank has blank her blank. Ugh. So we don't have any clues. Okay. So, I have a new option here, I guess. I can inspect this person. What is this? Complaint box or something? Use the magnifying glass to, un to find clues and press E to uncover them. God, if someone steals my mug again, I'll end. <laughs> wow. All right. Laura from CS, customer service. 
is way too loud. I can hear her keyboard all the way to my desk. All right. Bet we can... Bet we can get some information from reception lady. She probably likes drama. It's Sophie's birthday... Uh, oh, next? What? Why would... Huh? Who writes like that? Anyway. You connect the X to the top of the T? Do people do that? Let me, hang on a second. Let me just handwrite the word next. No, it comes in from the bottom. I've never seen it like that. That's why I had a hard time reading what this word was. Uh, next Thursday... Just saying. So this must be... Hmm. So did Sophie put this in here to remind people that it was her birthday? Hmm. The writing looks different. I, I don't know if I should be checking to that level of um, detail, but the writing... It looks a little bit different. Um, this person doesn't put little circles over their eyes. This person does. And they also put little circles underneath the exclamation mark. So this was probably not written by the same person. Uh, this person's writing is horrible. But it does look narrower. Again, this may not actually matter. These are quite mundane. I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. All right. Let's see. Giraffe. Why is there a little smiley there? Oh, so today is September 7th. Is that anywhere else? Nothing, nothing. I know it says three and I know we got all three, but sometimes I, I never put it past the game to just have more secrets. Tomorrow is Friday. I need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. Okay. How are you going to pay for that, buddy? All right. Anything else we can inspect here? Now well, let's inspect Lady. What does her name say? Windtimer? Is she crying? What's that? Keychain. Oh, she's a K-pop fan. Windtimer. I should be able to deduce her name now. It's important to work out a suspect's name to crack the case. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's important. Enter their first and last name into the slots below their portrait in your journal's suspect page. So... We know her last name is Windtimer. How do we know what her first name is? Hang on a second. Sophie's birthday next Thursday, just saying. And today is Thursday. So is that why she's sad? Because it's her birthday and nobody remembered? I'm gonna go with that. Uh, call her Sophie. 
sad Sophie Wintimer. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. Uh, okay. Sophie is feeling sad because nobody has remembered her birthday. That's why she's making such a face. I mean, that's off awfully you know, presumptuous. She could just be a bitch, you know. I should try and cheer her up. Okay. So K-pop is pretty great, eh? <laughs> Let's see how he does it. You're still here? Uh, happy birthday. I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> Her expression didn't change. How did you know? Ah, that's a good question. Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. <laughs> huh? Uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? Wait. If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Oh, yeah. Here's the key card to the office. All right. Um, that was easy. Anything you else? You could have just told me you know someone here. Not sure why you acted so weird with all the detective business. I, I did tell you I knew somebody here, and then you asked more questions, and I didn't know their name because I'm not a great detective. Anyway. <laughs> Look at this fella. Oh, man. A stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long or it would rub off on me. <laughs> oh, this is the last straw! That was an interesting sound. Well, okay. The register needs to be fired! Frederson needs to be fired. Hmm. Who's Frederson? Is it that alligator or crocodile dude? This must be the boss man. I'll see what I can do. Oh, this music. So good. Man, I really enjoy this. Anyway, back to the game. Let's see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? <laughs> well, let me tell you. My wife filed divorce papers. I got no money. I've got a bread addiction problem. And I had a hell of a time just getting in this door. But I'm here to help, so. If you have one, just call our damn hotline. Wow. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the Duck Detective. Oh, we have a name! Eugene, Eugene, I said hello, Eugene. Okay, so... Sorry, I had... I was listening to a song the other day called Eugene by Pink Martinis. Good song. Highly recommended. So his name is Eugene McQuacklin. Hmm, that's a... that's a name. A client hired me to investigate a case. <sighs> Why didn't you just say so? I... didn't get a chance to. It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. Hmm. Is that why Buster Brown over here is pissed off? Because he thinks Frederson... I'm assuming this guy's Frederson over here in the top corner. Stole his lunch? All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. <laughs> okay. I'll be in my office. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. 
I needed to find my client as well. Inspecting the crime scene would be important too. Usually is. But this is a demo. <laughs> so you'll have to wait for the rest of the game to be made. <laughs> okay. Well played. Thanks for playing. Wow, so we didn't really make it that far. It said 10 15 minutes, and I, I managed to make it to 25. But yeah, it's, uh. <laughs> I kind of like it. I definitely like the music. There's some quality voice acting behind this. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. I wish there was more to it. I wish there was more to the demo just to get an idea of how things are going to progress in difficulty and challenging more and more as the game goes on. But there isn't, so we have to make our decision based off of this. But I don't know. It depends on... Because I don't know how long this game is supposed to be. Sometimes you have... Um, you can have a game that has a demo that's only like 10 minutes, but the game itself can give you multiple, multiple hours, like 10, 20 hours. Then again, you can have a game that has a demo of seven minutes and you can finish it in, uh, I don't know, an hour and a half. So it's hard to say, but so far I really enjoyed my experience with it. If you're interested, the demo link is in chat as well as the link to the soundtrack, which I low key love if, in case I didn't make that obvious, actually not low key at all. I really do enjoy the soundtrack so far. I'm going to be listening to the rest of it uh, later on on my own time. But that's it for the demo. And I've already wishlisted it, so I don't need to do that. What does Quack do? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs>